Hello and welcome to the Easy Solution Systems tutorial videos. I'm Jesse Brown and today we're going to be going through customer display in Retail Man. We need to go into maintenance and then hardware setup and choose the pole display button. So here we have three options, no display, pole display and monitor. The pole display is a small machine that we can connect through a CL port or a USB. Here you can see on the screen, this is the pole display. We need to create a serial driver for this, which means we will have to create a printer with a serial port, which we'll have to name pole display and we'll have to know the serial port parameters for this machine. Normally we need to know the board rate, port number, serial port number and the rest of the serial port parameters. So we'll have to add a printer in the Windows options for this printer. So once we do that we can use that under the Windows driver. If the pole display comes with a USB port we'll have to install the driver that comes with the port display itself. Next we have to set up the home code and the CR key code. So 11 and 13 is the usual, but depends on the brand that you buy, you may need to change these numbers. Here you can choose to do a welcome screen. Um, so in that place you can put whatever you would like. Um, poll timer five, the poll timer goes from zero to 99 seconds. We'll just leave that at five. And the currency symbol, we're just going to leave as dollars. You may need to change that. Then you can test the customer display to see that it's working fine. Once we've done that, we can go back to the point of sale screen. We can start selling and it'll show each item name, quantity and amount. The other option is to use a monitor, but for that, your system needs to be able to support two monitors. Most systems today will allow you to hook up more than one monitor, at least two or three. Here you can see for this arrangement, there are four display ports. So one is a display port, a VGA, DVI and finally HDMI. So to set up the monitor, we choose monitor. Then we need to clean the screen parameters. And the reason for this is once you start up the point of sale screen, our retail man itself will fill the parameters depending on your settings and how you move the screen. So when you do the setup, these parameters will show. Save, close, we want to go to the point of sale screen and open. So as soon as we open the point of sale screen, the second monitor should appear. Here you can reset or resize the fields. Of course you can move it around if you would like to. So once we're happy with that setting, it should stay there. So once we start selling, let's say we want to sell two large coffee and three small coffees. And as you can see here, the items appear on both screens. We can add more sales and items will show. You can then choose to pay. Suppose the customer gives us $50 in cash. And as you can see, it shows the total cash. So once you've saved or printed, the screen will remain there until the customer gets their change. Then you can start the next sale. The moment you start adding items, it will clear the change in the price and start a new cycle. We hope this video has been helpful and we hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.